Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the voltage drop calculation. What is the voltage drop and why we need to calculate it? Means, what is the importance of the voltage drop calculation? This video will cover this topic. So what is the importance of the voltage drop calculation? Suppose there is a panel which feeding the motor. And the panel and motor is 200 meter away from each other. Then one cable will run from the panel to the motor. Then the cable will run, as I told you, the cable will run from the panel to the motor. Then there, suppose the voltage at the panel end is 415 volt. 415 volt. But due to the long distance of the cable, the voltage reach at the terminal of the motor is suppose 380 volt. But the, vo the, but the motor is designed to operate when the voltage is at least to be 400 volt. In that case, the motor will not run, motor will not start even. So this will be the failure. To know what we, what would be the voltage at the end point, we need to calculate the voltage drop. Why there is a voltage drop? Because cable has its own resistance. Due to this, there is a voltage drop in the cable itself. So far, we understand why to calculate the voltage drop. What is the important to calculate the voltage drop? Our second topic in this video is how to calculate the voltage drop. There is a formula for the voltage drop calculation. The formula is written here. Voltage drop is equal to VD factor into the length of the cable into the load current divided by 1000 into number of runs, which I wrote here also. VD is equal to voltage drop in volt. This is a voltage drop factor. L is the length of cable in meter and IB is a load current in ampere and N is the number of runs. Uh, let us take one example to understand this topic very clearly. Suppose I have taken a question that calculate the voltage drop of three phase load of 150 kilowatt is fed from 185 square mm XLP cable and the cable length is 200 meter. Power factor is 0.8. First of all, collect the information available from the question. What is that? This is a three phase load. Okay. And the load is 150 kilowatt. So I wrote here load P is equal to 150 kilowatt. The length of the cable is 200 meter. I wrote here length of the cable 200 meter. Cable size is 185 square mm XLP cable, which I wrote here. And as per the voltage drop formula, which we seen earlier, the voltage drop formula is VD factor into load current into the length of the cable divided by 1000. I didn't mention here N because the run of the cable is one run. If there is a two run of, if there is a two run of 185, then I will write N is equal to here. I will write N is equal to two. But in our question, there is only one run of XLP cable. So I didn't mention here. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to get in the formula. If you will look, there is a I, we, we, but we don't have I ampere load current. So we need to calculate it as we know that the three phase formula for power is root three into I into V into cos factor uh, power factor. Okay. So I is equal to P by root three into V into power factor. So I is equal to P is here 150 watts so I uh, 150 kilowatts so I read 150 into 1000 watt divided by root 3 into what is the voltage for the three phase three phase voltage is 415 volt and the power factor is 0.8 as per the question so I come to the value of ampere is 360.86 uh, ampere now from the question, if you will see the formula, we didn't, we, we don't have any information about this one. 
the which is the voltage drop factor okay this is this is called voltage drop factor we don't have information how we will get this value is from the manufacturer uh, catalog suppose if you are using national cable then ask the supplier to give you the voltage drop factor uh, information from the catalog so here if you will see the voltage this is this is vd vd is a voltage drop factor which cable size we have we have xlp cable right so this is xlp cable for pvc cable there is a different chart for single core wires there is a different chart so and what is the size of our cable our size of our cable is 185 so if we will go there this is 0 0.28 0 0.28 so i took the value i took the value vd that is same mb slash ampere slash meter vd factor is 0 0.28 now we have every information so voltage drop in volt is equal to voltage drop factor into load current into run, uh, length of the cable divided by 1000 so what is vd here vd is 0.28 i is which we calculated 260.86 length of the cable from the question is 200 meter and divided by 1000 when we will calculate it will calculate we will come to this value that is 14.60 volt this is the voltage drop it means it means if the voltage at the panel end is 415 volt then the voltage at the motor end will be 415 minus 14.6 volt which we calculated here 14.6 volt okay but always the voltage drop calculation is expressed in the percentage so we will calculate the voltage drop percentage voltage drop volt uh, percentage voltage drop is equal to voltage drop which we calculated that is 14.60816 volt slab divided by system voltage system voltage is 415 volt into 100 when we will calculate it it will come to 3.52 percentage it means the 3.52 percentage of the system voltage is dropped when the cable run is 200 meter near the motor terminal there will be a 3.52 percentage voltage drop in dubai in uae as per the diva regulation and as per addc regulation the maximum permissible voltage drop is 4% so this voltage drop which we calculated 3.52% is less than the 4% so this cable size 185 square mm xlp cable is okay because it's satisfying the it's satisfying the voltage drop permissible limits that is 4% suppose if we came to the con conclusion that the voltage drop came 5.2 percent after our calculation if we find that the voltage drop percentage is coming 5.2 percentage then we have to go for the higher size of cable the higher size of cable of 185 is 240 cable or we have to go for the two run of a smaller cable maybe 95 or 120 two run of cable which will be the another case okay now i have to give you at last in my video that every engineer should have their own voltage drop calculation excel sheet this i calculated for my one project here you can see that for lv panel to smdb the cable description is 4 core 300 square mm cable the total connected load is 250 kilowatt rated voltage is 415 volt power factor is 0.85 full load current is 409 ampere cable length is 69 number of run is 1 then the mv it's, it's same a uh, vo uh, voltage drop factor vd is equal to 0.9 for this 300 square mm cable this you from where you will get this one you will get this from the manufacturer 
कैटलॉग केबल कैटलॉग्स और फ्रॉम द मटीरियल सबमिटल और टेक्निकल सबमिटल ऑफ केबल्स देन देर इज अ फॉर्मूला दिस ऑल एक्सेल सील इज सीट इज फॉर्मुलेटेड सेन द देन द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप फैक्ट इन वोल्ट इज कमिंग एट पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट इन द परसेंटेज इज कमिंग टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन वोल्ट सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर ईच ऑफ योर केबल इन द एक्सेल सीट द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप कैलकुलेशन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वी विल मीट इन एनी अदर वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच